LB Ducks, welcome back to the Hermit's Cave. I hope everybody's having um, a lovely day. It's, uh, it's Thursday, I'm still on annual leave, which has been really nice. A nice mix of relaxing, meeting up with friends, uh, family members. Yeah, it's just been really, really nice. But today I had a little bit of a surprise. I was just about to go out to the shops and there was a knock at the door and it was a package from Cheryl at One Less Emporium which really caught me off guard because I was like I'm not expecting anything till at least another week because next not this coming Saturday but next Saturday is our monthly spotlight where we're going to be looking at some new decks so I was like why Cheryl sent me <laughs> something so I did have a sneak peek and in here amongst this beautiful um oh look oh wow this is this for a fountain pen or oh, no a little I'm not quite sure what this is when I first looked at it it looked like one of those um converters for a pen but it's a little a little fork with a dot. I'll find out what that's what that's for. And then we've got some uh ah, maybe it's something to do with these. I need to look this up. But these are these are cute. At first I thought they were stickers, and there's a little one there. And then we have a little charm. She often puts these little charms in. This is of a feather, if you can see that. So but yeah, I'll uh, I'll find out what they what they are, and how to use them. Okay, so little little extras in there, which is lovely. But the deck we're going to be looking at, and this really blew my mind, and I'll explain why. Because it's divine circus, and um, so and these are the decks by Rockpool. Well, firstly, let's just have a look at what's in the little envelope as well. She always puts these little envelopes in. So we've got, thank you for your order and a lovely postcard of Stonehenge, which is lovely. And then we've got, uh, now this is from the Rainbow Tarot, which I really like. I'm, I'm loving the Rainbow Tarot. Uh, I'm not sure uh, that one for the three of cups but so let me let me explain the story <laughs> so years ago when i first discovered uh well even before youtube before discovering youtube i used to get quite a few blue angel decks um yeah just quite a few of them and i liked them but one of the problems i had with them was that they were really big glossy card stock so I did let some go um, and then I've started to rebuy them because they've started bringing them out on um, matte cardstock like I rebought Sacred Rebels um, and then the Whispers of Lord Ganesha. Now I never let go of the original one because um, I just loved it so much. It's one of my favourite Oracle decks. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, and when these are wrapped, as you can see here, they come wrapped in cellophane. You can't tell any difference. Once you've unwrapped them, you can see that this box is matte, whereas this one is gloss. Um, this one has the kind of uh, gloss on top of a matte finish. Uh, but everything else, I have to do it the, uh, the same way, you wouldn't, you wouldn't really know. So I stand sometimes in the shop thinking, now, oh, is this the right one? because um, they both say 2016 um, but that one then says this print in 2021 so you have to look at the detail really um, and I've done a walkthrough of them now some of my absolute favorites as I mentioned Sacred Rebels, Whispers of Lord Ganesha and um, Halloween uh, Oracle I don't know if that one's been redone yet um, but Divine Circus, and I tend to, I bet there's a crystal in this as well, because, yeah, I used to put crystals in to stop, try to stop the cards from moving around. 
Um, this is this is a wonderful deck, but as you can see, very uh, very glossy. I edged this in red to match these backs, um, this kind of circus design back. But yeah, just gorgeous, gorgeous deck. Um, and then Cheryl mentioned that they've brought it out again. So I was expecting it to be exactly the same. But look at this, it's a complete um, rebrand. Um, I'm not sure about the bats. And there's a, there's a difference in the thickness of the boxes as well. So yeah, completely uh, redone, as you can see here. Um, so that was a real surprise this morning. So I'm itching to have a look. We'll leave this one out just so you can have a look at, um, you know, we can do a little bit of a comparison. So let's, uh, let's open this up. I'll put that back there. So yeah, so now we have a bit like the uh, reissue of Whispers of Love Nesho. We've got this nice matte box with like a, a glossy finish for the words. It's a Lana Fairchild Divine Circus Oracle card, guidance for a life of sacred subversion and creative confidence. And the same design on the back, matte uh, box with glossy overlay. I don't know if the words are the same. Within you, there's a free spirit that refuses to be defined by social stereotypes. Your spirit thrives in freedom and refuses to be constrained by stereotypes. So they've rewritten it as well. They've changed the words, but it has the same, the same sort of message. So they come in these two-part boxes. This is the nice purple on the inside, I believe. Oh no, this one was just black. Um, so nice purple, you get this protective piece of paper um, that just lays on the top. They do that with all theirs. So the book, we'll have a look at the book here with this crystal. This was the original book. Uh, that was 136 pages. So this book... And I know a lot of people do complain about the fact that these don't sit in any tray or anything. The box, the boxes are this size to house the box. Uh, sorry, to house the book. But yeah, there's no kind of tray or anything to protect the cards. So very often I'll put, like I said, a crystal in to keep them in place. Or sometimes I transfer them to a bag. But this looks like it's pretty much... The same uh, sort of book. Let's have a look at the introduction on page seven, giving an idea. Yeah, yeah. So it's the same. They've changed the font, uh, but it's the same kind of layout. So this should be 130, 136 pages, exactly the same. So the book hasn't changed, other than the the cover. We get about Alana on the back of the new, the new book, and then let's let's have a look at the cards. Oh, wow! Yes, yeah, so a lovely purple. I love purple, and um, lovely purple. <coughs> um, inside cover. I'm get my, thinking my words there. Let's take this band off. So the backs have completely changed, as you can see here. So the cards, the cards are the same size, exactly the same size. Obviously we've gone from a gloss to a matte, but it's completely redesigned. Now I like these backs. I would have preferred, I think, rather than have one of the cards on the back. I know they did that with Whispers of Lord Ganesha. I would like, I would have liked them to have kept this this back really because I like this this circus it's a divine circus so having this big top with the uh, the red stripes I really I really liked okay um so what we will do we will um this one now because I've edged this in red I probably have to edge this in like a lilac but anyway 
we will see. Um, I'm going to put the cards in the same order here, and then we can have a, a look at them. Okay. So, I've put the cards in order, and now the sirens are going to start, aren't they? <laughs> um, but yes, instantly you can you can see the the difference in the style. So we get a much more close up of the image in the new deck. We don't have any borders. This original deck had um, black border and a red and gold border as well. And now we've just got uh, got the image. I'm just thinking the town hall has gone wrong because it's bonging. It's just stopped. But that was more. <laughs> that was more than twelve. <laughs> Because I waited for ages to press the record button, think it's going to stop in a minute. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, yeah, so you can see um, completely uh, different in in terms of its layout, but obviously the same the same image, and we're getting a much closer up version. I did I liked the the banner that you got in the original one. I thought that was kind of again in keeping where we've just got kind of like a tight. Uh, font here at the bottom shadowy part um, of the card but overall I like this better it's it's closer it looks sharper because it's uh, matte but yeah really really nice they've done a they've done a good job with the cards like I say the only thing I would have kept is perhaps the background at uh, the backs of the cards uh, but that's that's okay so impressed so far and then we have Out of Darkness. Oh yeah, this is much better. I mean, you get a real dark sense here. We're having no border, just this face coming out of the black, out of the darkness. Whereas having the ornate uh, kind of frame on this picture with the stars at the top, and the big top and yeah you get a more atmospheric kind of sense there death shall not take him here we have the tiger angel Brilliant purging. The artwork is absolutely beautiful. Princess Victorious. And I got this deck around the same time that I read The Night Circus. Um, yeah, this always reminds me of uh, Alice in Wonderland type. Tim Burton, Alice in Wonderland type imagery. The steampunk princess. Supernova. Cardstock is really nice as well. Nice thick cardstock. I'm thinking that's probably why the deck, the box is thicker. Because this cardstock is nice, um, but this is this is nice, even nicer. Go fish. Secret of Shinobi. Love this Alice card. Really, this is such a beautiful image. Voice of an Angel.
Look at him, the Duke of Shadows. How brilliant is that image? Now it's like this. I mean, I loved it anyway, but. White Duchess. I'm struggling to pick these up actually from the sides. I'm fine from the front, but the arm of the camera is also in the way. We have Rooster Mama. And Nebula Warrior. The Good Geisha. Her Wicked Ways. Sweetheart. She reminds me of Goldie Horn. <laughs> oh, the Red Countess. See, this, it's when I see images like this that I just you know, thing, I'm so pleased they reissued it because that just looks stunning. Without the extra kind of noise. The cards speak to you more. So this is the card that they've decided to stick on the backs. Never, I'm never a fan of that. I'm a fan of the deck overall, but yeah, and they did that with Whispers of Love, Venetia. I just think it's so much nicer to have a kind of, um, you know, a different back that's not a part of the deck. The Divine Disguise. It's beautiful. Look how intricate that is. We have Pinhead Punchinello. The Velvet Queen. Just noticed as well, it's much easier to see the numbers. The numbers do appear in the original in this little yellow bit, but it stands out a little bit better as well. So if you're looking them up in the book. Cherry on top. We have the Dark Harley Quinn. The Sacred Fall. Joker is wild. The jugglers. So we're going through our kind of clowns and jesters part of the circus now. Crown of the butterfly bambini. Clown of crossroads. That's beautiful too. The Proud Pirate. Confetti. Circus of Love. Now this, this is my favorite. Pixie Piero. I love what they've done as well. I mean, just look, having it uh, borderless. It's just beautiful with the water in the background. It's so soft. Ah, oh, just gorgeous. So this was always my favorite card in the deck for its art style. I don't think it was this innocence and just beautiful, beautiful image. 
we have Silver Siren. Gypsy Columbine, look at that. Play Your Hand, another favorite, I love this card. Bright Baby, look how this has turned out. I mean, just beautiful. Lady Luck, that's off the original box cover and book cover. Rare, raw, real. Date with destiny. And Maven of Masks. Beautiful. Love it. I love everything about it, <laughs> with the exception of the backs. Um, not quite sure why they decided to change that, but you know they've changed they've changed the whole design, um, which is which is nice because in the past, as I say, with Lord Ganesha, um, it's exactly the same image, I believe. I don't think they had borders, uh, but I think it was exactly the same image. Um, just that it's now uh, matte. Oh, they did have borders on the back. Let's have a look here. Take the box out. See, I've still been using the original ones. Yeah, they were bordered anyway. Uh, borderless anyway, I should say. Um, and they kept it exactly the same. Um, with the exception of... Um, it being matte so the backs also stay the same which is one of the cards um, in the deck where have I just put the book okay let's pop that in there so so yeah um that glossy box belongs to that one <laughs> get all mixed up here now uh, focus on one thing at a time so um, um <clears throat> so yeah but i i think this is absolutely beautiful it's freed up the images by removing the ornate borders you really get to see a good sense of of the image and get a feel more for me it, it helps me to connect more when there's less um kind of ornamental design on the cards let me know your thoughts. Did you have the original Divine Circus? I think this was from 2016. I certainly bought it around 2016 anyway. Um, looking at, where's the base for that? I think it was around 2016. Yeah, 2016. Um, I remember it was new when I bought it um, and everybody was talking about it in the community. Um, yeah. And do I edge? I never know whether they'll bleed or not. With, with having borders here, it didn't matter so much if it did. And glossy, because you could just wipe it off. I do like this colour that I used. Um, but on this one, I might not, just in case it uh, bleeds into the image. Especially when you've got like white, light corners. We'll see. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Thank you for watching. I'll be back on Saturday for a regular cup of catch-up in court. So hopefully you'll be able to join me then. And yeah, until next time, you're in peace. Mm -hmm.